Hello, beautiful children of God. Welcome to Heart to Heart ATL Saturday Morning Prayer. And I'm Tasha, the teacher. And today's March 9th, 2024. Time is flying by, y'all. So that means we got to keep praying and praying and praying. Now let go. Prayer will begin now. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome here. Holy Spirit activated. Mm Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another day. For cars to drive, jobs, and places to stay. For the clothes on our backs and the shoes on our feet. Thank you for the water and all the food that we will eat. Thank you, Father, for your love, mercy, and grace. Thank you, Jesus, for coming down to this ungodly place, for saving us from all of our wretched sins and leaving the Holy Spirit in us to live and being the guide that we need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are a help indeed. I rebuke suicide, addictions, mental, physical, and health issues, and all things preventing us from serving you. Heal us, Lord, spiritually, mentally, physically, from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet, through and through. Let us be surrounded by people that fill us spiritually and strengthen our godly wills. For us to do what you want us to do, Lord, and not worry about how the world feels. Don't let distractions take our minds off the mission that we are on for you. Let it be the godly things and the Holy Spirit's guidance that we pursue. Give caretakers the strength and spirit that helps to lighten their loads. Give them patience, caring hearts, tenderness, and strength in their souls. Cover all doctors and anyone working with the sick. I decree and declare that you send down healing quick. Heal our hearts, minds, bodies, and spirits. We're screaming to the heavens, Lord. I know you hear it. Father, please, please remove the taste for drugs and alcohol from everybody's mouth. What we put in it, let it be godly. So that's the way that it comes out. Protect your children and elderly because they are the most victimized in this evil world. Father, I'm calling out to you as an intercessor for all senior citizens, little boys and girls. As I watch the news, it just breaks my spirit and heart. Lord, I'm begging you for them put your angels on guard. The demons come for our babies to assure that they wreak havoc as they grow. The enemy and his minions don't want to see our children get old. The babies whose innocence are taken and for some even their existence. I'm crying out to you, Lord, with urgence and persistence to cover them with your blood from the bottom of their feet to the top of their heads. Keep your hand on them, Father, as they go along in their days and sleep in their beds. Lord, remove the thought and save any demon that want to abuse. I'm begging you to cover them with your blood, Lord. Don't let them be used. Give parents discernment to stop leaving their kids with just any and everyone. Let them be God-fearing role models for their beautiful daughters and sons. Let all strongholds be released and generational curses be broken. Let positive Christianly conversations around kids always be spoken. Touch and sanctify all marriages and may they last for as long as the two have breath. And let when they say death do us part that it lasts until death. Let them fall in love more and more every night and day. Let them come together daily as a family and pray. Let them spawn generations of Christian leaders. Give them the tools to turn non-believers into believers. Let these be filled with your word and show in their lives. Let their children's children's children be God-fearing husbands and wives. 
for those that must sleep on streets and shelters and even in an unsafe place. Have mercy on them, dear Father. Please, please, please show them your face. Give them the strength to deal with these times with hope and grace, Lord. Give them peace, patience, good health, money, food, and board. Give the world compassion for these people. Give us the heart to help others. Have love for everyone like we have for our sisters and brothers. Don't let us sit too high where we look down on people in need. Don't let us live for this world be taken over by greed. Protect the homeless from any hurt, harm, or danger. Let them feel your love, Lord. Don't treat them like a stranger. For those that don't believe, make your presence known to them in such a way. Move in their hearts, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Soften their hearts and open up all of their ears. Remove any doubt, confusion, and any fears. Turn all souls into Paul with hearts willing to fight for the truth. Let their lives show your mercy as mighty and convincing proof. Sanctify all of your churches and strengthen all of your ministers, teachers, workers, and parishioners seeking the truth. Let us be led by the Holy Spirit and churches live and overflow with blessings through the roof. Touch and strengthen our desire to do your will and for us that lost theirs, return it ten times over with zeal. Protect our minds from thoughts that's not sent by you. Let your understanding voice be the only one that gets through. Let us teach and love and live lives in the way that shows your light well. And let any demon plotting against your people be sent back to the pits of hell. Give your teachers a heart like David and let us be the apple of your eye. That we have the obedience like Jesus and for the truth be ready to die. Because if we don't stand for you, Lord, then we will fall for anything because the day is is coming when you will let your freedom ring. For those families that have lost loved ones to these streets, wrap your loving arms around them. Father, I beg you to just give them peace. Please, Heavenly Father, don't let these people seek revenge. Let them feel your love, Lord. Don't let families become unhinged. Cover the children whose parents have been unsensibly taken from this world. I'm begging that you save, sanctify, bless, and cover every single little boy and girl. Let the last time that they were violent be just that the last time remove the desires in them that makes them want to commit crimes replace the spirit of evil with the spirit of Jesus Christ replace the hardness in their hearts with everything that's nice let these demons lay down the weapons especially the guns and raise their hands up to you Lord and get saved and love on them I beg you, Father, to put our finances in overflow and remove any worry. Give us the strength to not spend, but pay our tithes and use it for your glory. Stop the need to try to keep up with the latest styles and gadgets. Replace them with the desire to bless your kingdom. Make that our new habits. Remove the desire to shop and buy things that we think will make us feel. Give us the desire to do what's right with your money like pay our bills for those that want to break generational curses and pass down family wealth let our small businesses thrive give us the wisdom and great financial health touch each customer that we may encounter may they be blessed let us be able to handle what comes with businesses like all of the stress the ups and downs the highs and lows when the bills need to be paid don't let us do your, our will but let us do yours undelayed let us know when it's you who's telling us to stop and go and all money ain't good money and when to say no increase our small businesses to franchises and so much more let us be prepared so that we don't mess up what we ask for heavenly father take over our government and show your power because you are the one and 
who's really in control. Don't let every politician that takes a seat to the devil sell his soul. Cover our loved ones while they serve for their country, standing up for us even though we would never get liberty. So save the corrupt politicians. They need you in prayer on a daily basis. I know it's hard for them trying to hide their many faces. Father, stop racism, hatred, and even bigotry. Lord, I'm begging you to just have more mercy. World disasters everywhere and it's such a scary time. Floods, tornadoes, wildfires, so many people dying. Lord, protect our homes and your people when the earth opens up to devour. Father, you are our strength, Lord. You are our high tower. Cover those people who lost everything due to unforeseeable events. Give them back tenfold from all of the money that they spent. Let them adjust to the new places that that they must go. Let them prosper and all of their good seeds grow. Teach us to be humble, but Lord, please don't let it be through pain. Remove our egos, self-centeredness. Don't let us be vain. When we grow weak and weary, please, please, please hear our cry. Don't allow another moment for us suffering to go by. Let us draw near to you, Lord, in times of good and bad. Give us strength and endurance like we have never had. Touch, heal, and strengthen the spiritual, mental, physical, and financial health of every person within the sound of my voice. And give us endurance, patience, and the ability to tolerate long suffering in anticipation for the day of rejoice. Lord, remove any foreign entities from our path that prevents us from doing your will. Let us not live in the flesh and always be spirit-filled. Protect and guide us every moment of the day. We relinquish our will to you, Holy Spirit. Let God have his way. Now, we will love, serve, and praise you all the days of our lives and even after the world ends. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I love you, sweet Jesus. Amen. Amen.